So I got an email from YouTube saying that if I don't create some digital content soon, they're going to shut me down. Well, it is winter time. I'm not out trail riding showing you really cool trails that are available to you. So I'm thinking, what kind of digital content can I create? I am an avid DIYer. If it's out there and somebody has made it commercially, I want to see if I can do it myself. And clearly, if you see my other videos, I'm a horse campers, um, change a bus into a camper, my own truck camper, just all sorts of crazy projects. So what am I doing right now? Well, actually, I am going to show you how to make a hay bag, a slow feed hay bag, out of baling twine. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how it's done. So this is what we're going to start with, some baling twine. And if you plan ahead, you can cut the baling twine right at the knot so you can cut the knots off and um, not have to deal with the knots. But if they're there, it's still going to work. So I got a carabiner clip and a two inch ring. So what I'm going to do first of all is I am going to clean up all of these ends. So there we go. We got them cleaned up. Most of them have the knots cut off and there's the knots. So now I'm all ready to get started with my two inch ring. So what you're gonna do is you are going to even up the ends, come through here, make a little loop, and pull it snug. So you have this right here. And then you're going to keep going all the way around. So it took 35 strings, baling twine just folded over in half to go all the way around. So the next thing I'm going to do, because these are kind of loose right here, I am going to get two of these neighboring strings and on the inside, I am just simply going to knot them. So bring it around, pull it through, knock it up, doesn't have to be perfect. And I have a knot there. Then I'm gonna come to this one and I'm gonna knot these two together. Do the same thing until I make it all the way around the ring. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and knotted them. And this is where the process begins, where I kind of repeat the same thing. I'm gonna come out about two inches, take two neighboring strands, and put a knot in them right here. So once you get going with this, you'll probably see that it actually gets going pretty quick. And then you can see a pattern that's developing here. So now I'm going to take one of these strands and one of these strands and knot them together about two inches down. Doesn't have to be perfect, just about two inches. And then so you're going to just knot them together. As you wrap this up, you will have this giant spider webby looking thing. And I'm gonna show you what to do with the ends right here. As you get down to the end, you wanna trim these ends off so they're all nice and even. And then you want to melt them so they don't fray but you also want to melt the knot a little bit just so it won't fray. I'm going to do this the whole way around. Okay. As a side note, you might want to add an extra knot right there if you have enough string to tidy up the end when you want to tie your bag up. So as I finish this up, I'm coming in with a different colored thread so you can see what I'm doing. Just going to weave in and out in and out the whole way around. So when you're all done, you just take your carabiner, run it through, make a little knot, double knot it for extra security, and then you have your hay bag, 
that you can clip up anywhere you want to. I'm trying to record, but my dogs keep going over and crunching on dog food. It's making me nuts. <laughs> okay, I think they're done. They're just gonna wander around clicking their toes on the ground. 